Hey everybody, we are coming to you from the basement kitchen today. And what we're gonna show you is the assembly of the garage door. Um, Cameron has all kinds of parts and his tracks printed. And um, the reason we're showing you this is because it is kind of a more complicated procedure. And um, you know, we, we think that this could be helpful to anyone else who buys a robot and wants to make a garage with a garage door. So Cameron, take yeah. it away. So I'm going to talk through a little bit about parts and things that I have here and then I'm going to show how I'm assembling a few things. Um, some of this may not make complete sense until you see it all together, which hopefully I'll have later today. Um, but first, as Dana mentioned, we have the, the tracks um, that will mount inside of the little house for the robot um, and the garage door uh, rides along this track. And that's, um, this is the garage open. door. And yeah, and this is the door. Um, and so, this is the inside of the door. Yes. Where the hinges are. Okay. Yeah. So we'll get a better view of that later when we have it mounted. But okay. Yeah, this is the back side. All right. Um, and you 3D printed so, these. Yeah, I 3D printed these. And as you can see, I had to print them in four sections and hook them together because my printer isn't big enough to print the whole thing. Okay. Um, and that, tell us the, the change that you made to the track. Um, well, I printed several test pieces. Mm-hmm. Uh, to kind of work out how my uh, joints would fit together and that sort of thing. And this was my original design. Um, and you can see that instead of this squared off corner, I rounded it, um, which, so it, it which takes less plastic and prints a little bit faster. Okay. Um, it did cause another little bit of issue. This is printed in ABS um, and there's a little bit of warping and stuff through here, which you probably have difficult to see on the video, but It'll work out fine for what we're doing. Okay. The, the track itself is actually still pretty smooth. Okay. Um, and I'm noticing that the track is not even. Like. Yeah. The, if, I'm not sure how well it shows on video, but the track is tilted slightly. Okay. Um, and the reason for that is so that as the door comes down, if you imagine the front of the garage is right here, the door comes down and it kind of creates a wedge to help seal the door uh, against the frame. Okay. And you might notice, which we haven't talked about this yet, but the things I'm going to assemble are these um, little brackets and axles and wheels. And these are, these are actually just little ball bearings. Here's a couple. Um, and they will ride in this track. Oh, hold on. Once they're attached to the, do to the door, right? And How so, are they attached to the door? Well, that's what we're going to go through. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so, but these... Uh, axles that are holding the wheel. Um, They're very hard to see with your hands yes, like that. Yes, I know. I'm, it's difficult. Um, so they actually will attach with these little brackets that I made that I 3D printed, um, which I'll go through this assembly in a moment. But you'll notice that each of these is a different height, and that's due to that angle in the track. Oh, so I see. It holds the door in the right, in the right Okay, location. so there's a specific order that those have to be yeah. attached in okay those are the shortest ones will go on the bottom and the tallest ones will go on the top okay um so what we're going to do is i have these heat set inserts that will go into the 3d printed parts um, and then the screw that's acting as the axle goes through that and actually i actually have one assembled here um no my hands getting in the way anyway so we'll uh insert those heat set inserts into the plastic parts and then assemble uh, okay. one or two of these wheels and show you how that goes. All right, well, uh, let's go. So we'll take this one and our little insert and add this tool that I made, um, which will heat up and press these in. You made the tool? Yeah, I followed a design from uh, actually Adafruit. Okay. Um, you can just go to adafruit.com and you can search for heat set insert. How do you spell that? A D A F R U I T. Okay. I'm, um, I see my hand is in the way. I wanted yeah. to show the tool um, because it up against your dark jacket, it was hard to see. Yeah. So basically, it just it helps to press these in. You can do this by hand. Okay. Like this is just a soldering iron with a special tip on it. Okay. Um, and the special tip kind of matches the size of the insert. Is there a name for the special tip? 
Um, I don't know if there's a name, this particular one. Can we show that? Is this set? Um, and these are, this set is really nice. They're really well made. Um, okay, sorry for the shadows, so. folks. We're, it's a cloudy day and we've got the overheads mm -hmm. on. Okay, so go so ahead and show. Basically, we just heat it. It takes it a... Looks crooked under there. It'll kind of straighten up as it presses in. That's the whole point of this jig. Okay. And you see it's starting to go in. Huh. And we want to get it most of the way. And then we'll take this off from over here and just use a flat surface and kind of press it in the rest of the way. And that creates a very nice little top. Now I know, oh, I should have pulled this out first. So I'll do this on the second one. Um, these inserts are pretty much the same, are the same uh, thickness as these parts. And so there's a little bit of, oops, a little bit of extra plastic that gets pushed through. I might have to redo that one. Okay. But anyway, we'll do another one and hopefully I'll do it right this time. All right. I forgot a step. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, so and is these... this like instead of glue that you use this tool and I'm sorry guys, you can't see with his hands. Oh, I gotta come get it in there. Yeah, okay. Um. <clears throat> So the reason I'm doing this over these little holes is again, some plastic is going to push through the bottom okay. and that's the part I forgot to remove. Oops. But I will do that this time. And it's a little bit harder from this angle. But... Oh yeah, you can see it melting. Yeah. So there's again some plastic on the other side. So I want to get this out actually before I do the final press. Okay. So that way you're just flattening it right. while see, it's still pliable. Yeah, and there's still a little bit of plastic in All right, there. Hold on, you, so you keep moving and I keep coming Sorry. out of focus. Okay. So that's the front. All right. And then the back, there's still a touch of plastic in there, but not as bad. Okay. All right. All right, so I'll let this cool for a moment. Probably cool enough. And we'll assemble one of our bearings. So we take one of our screws and a bearing, just put the screw in. And a nut. I know you can't, might not be able to completely see this. I'll show it when I get it assembled. You just want to tighten that a little bit so that it holds that bearing securely. The bearing still spins, of Okay. And then <clears throat> take our little bracket with a heat set insert. All right. And screw that in. And so that white bracket will hold it to the track on the garage door? Yes. Okay. So. I'll I'm probably racing ahead. I'm trying to understand yep. how this all works together, but. All right, so we put this little nut here just to um, help lock it in place. Okay. And there is a little bit, I, I intentionally made these screws a little bit long. Maybe should have done just a little bit longer, but it allows for a little bit of adjustment. So when I get the door in, if I need to move the bearing back or forth a little bit, there is a little bit of room for adjustment. Okay. But yeah, we'll take, I'll take these and I'll end up gluing them to the door, to the back of the door. Oh, so you don't um, screw them in or anything? No, I'm just gonna glue them. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna come back around because I, I can't focus on that from here. So, actually I'll do it from your side. Um, I guess I could have made a bracket that screws on, but. I'm just wondering if glue is going to really hold it. Like if that's gonna be durable. Cameron has a lot more faith in glue than I do. I, I, I have very, I have trust issues with glue. So. You don't think that'll just snap right off? Well, if it does, I'll have to redo it. Okay. Or repair it. So there you go. All right. So.
I need to put the rest of these together, but I think that's our demonstration for now. Okay. Well, thank you.